So all set uh, for the big match tomorrow. I remember 2020 is the first big uh, tournament in Guwahati after a lot of chaos, after a lot of issues that was political issues that was going on in the state for quite some time now. But uh, when we talk about sports, yes, uh, the T20 match between India and Sri Lanka will take place tomorrow, that is on Sunday, at the Barshapara Cricket Stadium, which is also known as the Assam Cricket Association Stadium. And uh, it will begin from uh, 7 in the evening. So from 4.30 or 4, the crowds and the spectators are scheduled to, you know, they'll, they'll start uh, queuing up uh, so that they can get inside the stadium uh, to watch their favorite players. So today was a hectic day for me as a journalist. Um, uh, there was a net practice of uh, both the teams uh, that took place uh, from 11. Uh, 11 o'clock, uh, the Indian cricket team, they arrived at the stadium and did a lot of uh, practice. Uh, they checked on the wicket and um, then uh, Virat Kohli had a quick interactive uh, session with uh, press. And uh, what he categorically said is that... Uh, um, it's really important for the team uh, to really gear up for the T20 World Cup and uh, the uh, the T uh, 2020 year has just begun, the season has just begun and all of them have come back from their vacation fresh and their moods uh, are really uplifted and uh, what I could imagine from the body language of Virat Kohli is uh, that the team is raring to go for the match tomorrow and everything seemed to be set. I remember just prayed the Boomrah who was uh, out uh, for at least four to five months due to an uh, back injury is back in the team now and uh, yesterday in fact uh, Friday evening he had a very good session with uh, the bowling coach of the Indian team uh, so yeah things look pretty good for the Indian team and uh, talking about um, the Sri Lankan team the Sri Lankan team uh, was led by uh, Lasith Malinga uh, somebody who doesn't need introduction with someone who has been giving a consistent performance for for the last couple of uh, years now. And uh, we had a quick session with Lasit Malinga. He had a quick interactive session with us. Uh, and he was very pretty uh, pretty convinced that it is really difficult uh, to beat India in, uh, in, in India. And since they are the best uh, T20 side. But again, uh, there were questions uh, raised by some of the uh, press people regarding his retirement, uh, um, retirement plans. Uh, he said once uh, Sri Lanka qualifies for the World T20, uh, championship uh, he may take a decision soon right after that but as of now he's really concentrating on um, uh, the t20 match that will take place tomorrow and uh, security has been beefed up in the stadium in and around the stadium now uh, we saw uh, the secretary of the association along with stop not sure uh, sam uh, police officials having a quick word having quick conversations and then quick uh, inspection in and around the uh, stadium everything seemed to be said people have purchased ticket there was a slight uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, worry re uh, relating to the weather because uh, there was slight drizzle for the last uh, two days but uh, according to the med department everything seemed to be fine now and uh, uh, today's weather was good enough uh, there was no drizzle uh, the sun was uh, shining bright and uh, the med department has also predicted that there will be no uh, rain in the next couple of days in Guwahati. Uh, so, you all can go and enjoy a great match tomorrow. India will take on Sri Lanka in the first uh, T20 uh, match tomorrow at the Barshapara Stadium. So, really uh, good news coming in from uh, Guwahati. And right after that, we will be having uh, more and more updates on Kelo India 2020. The third edition of Kelo India will begin in Guwahati from the 10th of January. So, a lot of action coming up. Stay tuned. I'll try to keep you updated.